are actually pretty low. I didn't charge my battery, so it's probably going to go dead. I am working on a suit for a client. I've already done one mock-up and one fitting. We're just going to jump into fixing everything from the first fitting. With the first fitting, I wrote down everything that needed to be changed. Open up the armholes, tighten the waist, remove pleats in the back, double breasted collars and sleeve, recut the pants and add to the hip. I have the front blazer piece laid out on the new mock-up fabric, and I'm going to cut that out but the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the waist now so a good tip when marking things out on someone is to pin and mark and that's because chalk sometimes comes out but so does a pin Another thing that I do whenever I'm adjusting a pattern is I like to keep whatever the shape was that was originally there. This line here is the original shape. If I was just to connect these, then it would have like its own shape. This is, it's pretty straight. Cancel that out because I am going to adjust this because this suit didn't have a waist. It was straight cut. So. Something to remember is the hip fit. So I don't want the hip to be any smaller. So we're keeping the hips line and then we need to connect that with the waistline. And then the armhole, we're gonna bring that down. Have that mark on this one as well. So we're gonna line that up. Hold the excess over. I'm gonna try to keep the shape of this armhole by taking the other blazer front and laying it down. And then we're just gonna match as best we can those lines. Any changes that you make to an armhole, you also need to make to the sleeves. We're gonna connect this waistline to this armhole. Now to make it double-breasted. The first step is to take your blazer, lay it down on a fold. Okay, and we're back already because this is why we do mock-ups. Something I forgot is once I put the mark for the waist, you need to add seam allowance and <clears throat> I didn't realize that until I cut it. So we're going to do this again, but um, adding seam allowance to that waist. Okay, so this is our line right here that we cut. We're just going to add 5 eighths of an inch. And then these lines here, the armhole and the hip stay the same because they already have seam allowance. We're just going to redraw this line, adding 5 eighths of an inch here, but nowhere else. And the way we're going to do that is I'm going to hold my finger here and slide this one till the waistline matches our mark of where the seam allowance is. And then we're gonna trace this line. And then we're gonna put this back into position. And that's where those original marks come in handy. One other thing I'm gonna mention is at the bottom of suits, there's usually a point or a curve or something. So I'm gonna chalk that out, but we're going to cut it straight here. Next step, we're gonna open this up. And this is going to be left over right, so make sure that you have your left front blazer. Lay it out, mark the center, and then obviously the center of the bottom as well. Hold this back, matching that front dart and this bit right here, and slide that over, matching the marks that you just made. Open it up and trace that out. Height-wise, there will be a difference, so just match the bottom and not the top. And now you have a new line, and you can cut that out. Any changes that you make on the front, you also have to make on the facing. Okay. Let's see if this worked. When you folded the lapel over, it would fold over like so. So when you fold this one over, it will fold over. So you start adjusting the lapel. Now that we've made the single breasted double, taken the waist in, brought the armhole down, the next thing we're going to do is make a new back. We're going to do that by using a completely different piece. I'm going to be taking this back piece. We're going to lay that on top of the back for this because that's already fitted to him and make a new piece. So I did have a side back piece. So I sewed all of those together and I did a bit of research on what he was looking for and the backs have a seam down the middle, which this one does not. 
This is the one that we originally went with. And they don't have a side back, which this one has. And he doesn't want the pleats. So my idea is to lay this out with this and use this as the shape and this as the size. Okay, so the first thing I did was I pinned down the pleat and then I found the center of the back and chalked that out and then added 5 eighths of an inch and chalked that out. And now I'm going to cut that. I also have to remember to drop the armhole. I have the mark here for and bring in the waist, which I have the mark here for. So after I was cutting out the back, I realized all I needed to do to get the back shape that I was looking for was to pin down this pleat. I opened up a dart that was in it so that it will be more of a straight back. And then I brought in the waist and brought down the armhole. With this, you have the shape that you want. Now we have a back with a seam down the middle and no pleats. Now I need to work on collar and sleeve and I'm not looking forward to working on sleeves. Collar's gonna be simple. I didn't alter anything in the neck. So I'm just going to cut it out exactly as the pattern shows. So we've got the collar done and I pinned over the extras of the lapel. Next, we're gonna work on the sleeves. So remember what you did to the armhole and do the same thing to the sleeves. This seam right here is the only seam that we've changed on the armhole. We took a certain section down on all four sides. So we need to see how much we took off and then times that by four. So real quick update here. I miscalculated per usual. With this, we brought down the armhole on both the front of the blazer and the back of the blazer. You need to know how much you took off, which for us, we took off an inch and a half, almost an inch and five eighths. You need to double that, not times it by four. On sleeves that have two pieces, you should have a little circle that marks where the under seam is on the sleeve. This is the underarm. We added three inches total right here. We're going to need to cut this open and add three inches down the middle. If the sleeve at the bottom fits fine, then just adding basically like a dart is what we're gonna do. And we're just gonna open this part up. This whole project has been me just not thinking straight. We didn't add width at the armhole. We dropped the armhole. So we need to drop it on this as well and make the armhole bigger. At this mark still where the side seam is, I'm gonna draw a line that drops it an inch and a half and then we'll measure the circumference from each side and make sure that it matches the circumference on the sleeve. We dropped it an inch and a half on both the front and the back, but that's just one measurement on the sleeve. I right, mark these three points. Here, measure an inch and a half down on all three of them. And we're gonna trace this out. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing at the original line. And then we're going to bring these lines together because we don't wanna change this or this, we just wanna change this to that. Just like with altering the, the armhole on the blazer, you don't wanna change the shape. Sleeve went on pretty easily. The only thing I'm going to do is possibly turn it because it looks like it's sitting a bit too far back. 